So I want to start by talking about how nanomaterials get strange. This isn't just more surface area or greater numbers. We want our materials to become totally different as a function of size. We want to make them so small that they behave like an entirely different animal. So how small do you have to go before a material that you're familiar with acts totally differently? What's the magic size? So the answer to the magic size in nanotechnology, at what size, how small do you have to make a material before it's different, depends both on the material. The answer for carbon is very different than the answer for gold. But even more confusing, it depends a lot on the property. You can have optical, magnetic, mechanical, chemical properties. And the size at which you see a drastic change in the behavior of a material will be very dependent on the property you're looking at. So for example, let's take gold. Gold, its optical properties change, you could argue, at sizes as large as 80 nanometers. But its chemical properties don't really change until you get to 3 nanometers. So depending on the property you care about, the right size to make gold is, of course, going to vary. So there isn't really one answer to what size, how small do you have to go to get this change. So what are some of the properties that we might see changing? One of my favorites, uh, I did my thesis on this, so I have a fond place in my heart for it, is the change in color with size. So optical properties are one of the hottest areas in nanotechnology. These unique nanoscale behaviors are the ones most associated with transformative technology. So when we talk about paintable batteries or medicines that can you know, totally change how we treat disease, almost always at the heart, of that nanotechnology is going to be a very unique material that's unique because of its size.